Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how I style my naturally curly hair and which products I use to help me achieve my defined curls yet still keeping it soft and frizz free and without getting like that crunchy heavy look. Um, so first off I go in with my Frizz Ease Extra Strength 6 FX Serum and I take a dime size and put that into my damp hair and this is really gonna help to smooth my hair and help fight the frizz. And then I go in with the um, Frizz Ease Dream Curls Styling Spray and I just spray that all over my hair and this is really going to be, um, be what helps to define my curls. So I spray that in and then I start scrunching my hair from the bottom up. Um, you know, you just you can hold your head to the side um, or do it however you prefer. I, I just do it like in half sections, you know, I take one half and scrunch it and then I do the other half of my head. And next I go in with the Frizzies Curl Reviver Mousse um, and same thing, take that to my palms and put that all throughout my hair um, and start scrunching it as well. I really like this mousse because it doesn't give you that crunchy look um, but this is really going to help to kind of give me some more body and fullness throughout my hair and same thing, just really helping to define those curls. Um, so I put that all throughout my hair making sure not to overdo it because if you use too much of this product um, it can start to give you kind of like that crunchy effect. And I am so thankful that John Frieda sent me these Frizz Ease products. Um, I got them through the Pre-Me VIP program and this video is not sponsored by any means. Um, these products were just sent to me for my you know, trial and review. And I'm so happy because I started wearing my hair curly again uh, and I just have been really liking it. But now that I've got the products in my hair, I am going to go in with my blow dryer. Um, and I like to scrunch my hair and kind of hold it up on my head as I'm blowing the heat towards my roots. And I do have my blow dryer setting on low. Um, you can use a diffuser if you have one. Um, I, I really like using a diffuser, but I just don't have one at the moment, so this works as well. Um, you can also let your hair air dry. Um, usually I'll let my hair air dry for a little while and then I'll go in with the blow dryer. I feel like it just makes my curls a little more soft um, and gives it some more volume and body. Um, but you also have to be careful when blow drying your curls because it can make them very messy and tangly as well. Um, so just take your time and kind of scrunch the curls and hold them in your hand as you're putting that heat into the curls rather than just doing it very messily. And one thing I also like to do is to flip my hair forward and blow dry my hair a bit as well. Just because I feel like once you flip your hair back over, the curls all kind of fall into place naturally. You know, rather than looking like um, oddly placed in the front. Um, sometimes it can get a little hard to style the front of your hair with naturally curly hair. So I feel like this really helps. Um, and then after I'm done, I go in, I'm just using my Garnier Fructis hairspray. I think this is like the number three. Um, which is like the medium hold. Um, so I spray that all over my hair and just same thing, kind of scrunch my curls, that way it stays in place. Um, this also kind of helps with the frizz. And then of course, just style the front of your hair, um, you know, however you want it to be, whether, you know, parted down the middle, parted down the side, or wherever, and then you are good to go. Um, just kind of, you know, uh, finger through your curls and separate them if you need to. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in my next video.